Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ryan Miller from Ryan Miller Yoga. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a quick little yoga break right in your chair. This is great if you work in a chair all day or sit in a chair all day and get stiff and tight. And this is gonna be a good video for all the guys out there who told me that they're too stiff or too tight to do yoga. That's not a valid excuse. Actually, that's one of the reasons that you should be doing yoga is to improve your flexibility and not be as stiff and tight all the time. That'll help you feel better overall. So first thing to do when you're doing yoga in a chair is sit up straight. You'll notice right now I'm leaning back, I'm casual, I'm relaxed, we're having a nice conversation, and I'm just chilling. When you want to do yoga, it's important to have a nice tall spine, nice straight spine. So rather than slouching back in the chair or when you're on the computer all the time, your shoulders get up towards your ears like this, you get tight, you get stiff. So in the chair yoga, we're first going to press down into the bony part of your butt, your sitting bones, and then press up right here through the back part of your head like someone's pulling up with a string. So you want the bottom part of your spine feeling like it's pulled down a little bit, and the top part of your spine and your neck feeling like it's being pulled up just a little bit. Then you can rest your hands right in your lap. And first, relax your face and relax your eyes, especially if you've been staring at that computer screen for a long time. You can close your eyes and try to just calm the eyes down, get them to relax, get them to chill. Take a few deep yoga breaths, big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Good. You can do that as much as you need to. You can keep going for longer if you want. I'm going to move through kind of quick here just so I can show you some different stuff in a condensed time frame. So one of the first things I like to do after I've been working on the computer a lot is just put my hands behind my back. I'm sort of folded like this behind there. And then start pushing the chest forward a little bit and squeezing my shoulder blades together. What this does is it helps counteract this posture here and this position here where my upper back is rounded and my head is up like this. So my spine is compressed here and rounded and the mid back is just not a good scenario for my, for my back and body. So when I bring the arms behind me, I can squeeze the shoulder blades together and I'm shortening all this area here. So rather than it being out here, my arms out in front and this getting stretched out, I'm now strengthening it and squeezing it while I'm doing the opposite and stretching the front side of my body, stretching the chest. So you can take as many breaths there as you need if you want to enhance that. You can grab the armrest, stabilize your feet, and then lift up and open the chest like that. Come back down. Cool. So that's one thing you can do from the chair. Very simple, very subtle. It won't feel like much. But if you do it for a couple minutes with that deep yoga breathing, it should feel a little bit better in terms of being open in the chest. And if you have any tightness or stiffness in the back from it being stretched out, pretty much all day while you're typing, that may help take care of some of that as well. All right, and so next we'll do a little bit for the shoulders. Um, if you're on the computer, again, you might be scrunching up with tensions, firing off some emails or whatever you're doing, um, handling the spreadsheets, or just typing away. So we wanna relax this area here, the neck and shoulders. One easy way to do that is to grab the armrest with one hand and just let the other arm dangle and sort of sink into this hip. Just let it dangle, let it shake, breathe into it. You can kind of circle it around if you want. Just let gravity pull your arm down. Let it sort of dangle, almost like it's dangling out of the shoulder socket. Inhale up. Bring it down to the other side. You really just want to let it dangle, let it loose, let it shake. Let your wrist relax. Good, inhale, come up. Next is a little more for the shoulders and arms. You can just bring your arms out to the side of the chair like this. And as you inhale, 
bring the arms up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and then exhale, you can bring your hands together. Don't even worry about it. You can do this right at your desk at work. Trust me, your coworkers won't think it's weird. They may even want to join in. Um, so next we want to do a little bit for the sides. In yoga, we typically focus on moving the spine three general ways. There's a bunch of different ways it can move, uh, but we focus on moving it like this and kind of rolling it forward and back twisting it, turn side to side like that, and then bending side to side. So we did a little of this, and now we'll bend side to side. So you can rest your arms in the armrest of the chair. If you have armrest, if you don't, it's no problem. You can just let them down by the side. Now inhale, sweep your left arm up, and exhale over to the right. And then reverse, inhale, Opposite arm, exhale. Do that one more time, each side. As you inhale, you want to think about lengthening through your side, from the top of your pelvis to your shoulder. Exhale over. And then again. Exhale over. Back up. Okay, and then for the last one, we'll do a twist, a classic twist. Many office workers uh, know this one. You may have a couple people in your office who are notorious for that <laughs> crack in their back. Um, we're going to do it a little more gently than that and rather than just pull on the chair and try to make that sound because it sounds cool. We're just going to try to open up a little bit more of a subtle way. So we'll do similar to what we did last only. This time, rather than bend over, we're going to add a twist. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist to one side. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twist. Do one more each side. Inhale, back up. Exhale, you can rest your hands right on your knees or thighs. Close your eyes. And just a brief meditation. This is an enhancer, a multiplier of your yoga. So anytime you can get in deep relaxation, deep meditation, it's like a bonus multiplier effect for everything you've done in your physical practice. The more you can deepen the breath, the deeper the effects. So there you go. That's a quick one. Um, chair yoga. There's some different things that I'll show in some upcoming videos. But um, if you're at a desk a lot for work or just sitting down in general, or even if you're in a car driving a lot, being in this position where everything in the front, your hip flexors, your quads, everything's getting shorter and everything in the back is getting longer. This type of um, yoga practice, a little brief five, 10 minute yoga practice can help you counteract that stuff, get you feeling better overall. So that nagging shoulder pain or neck pain or back pain because you've been in one position, a bad position for so many hours of your day doing you know, intense, strenuous mental work for your job, um, that's gonna catch up with you. So this type of thing will help you out, help counteract all that stuff. Give it a try. Remember to use the breathing to your advantage as you're doing everything. And like I said, don't even worry about it. Your coworkers will think it's interesting and want to join you. No one's going to think it's weird that you're doing this breathing um, and, uh, you know, different types of things in your chair. 
at work. Many companies are getting on board with this type of thing. They realize that missed time from back pain and wrist pain and different things like that is hurting the company. So, you know, stay healthy, stay loose, stay fit, stay mentally engaged, mentally focused, mentally sharp, and doing yoga is going to help you do all those things. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Make sure you like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff so I can keep giving you some info on uh, how to combat the uh, stress of the world through yoga. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you on the next one.